are tired of violence in their backyards are taking their complaints to city leaders tonight. Right now, they are marching from the Dilworth Neighborhood Grill to the Government Center in Uptown. You're looking at a live picture from Air Star. You can see those marchers there now. So, the question tonight, what are the issues and what do they want? WCNC's Michelle Bowden is live at 6 from our mobile newsroom in Dilworth with that part of the story. Michelle? Sonia, this patio was filled. About 100 people were here not too long ago. They are making that march about halfway through. Let me show you one of the signs. This is something that they left behind. No action, no results. Now take a live picture. You can see those 100 people making their way to the government center. Here's what they want. They say they are fed up with crime. They want more police patrols. They want to say in picking the new police chief, this is a grassroots effort that started when some people in the Sedgefield neighborhood said they'd had enough. There were car break-ins, there were home break-ins, and then word really spread through email, through phone calls, and a woman who started an organization after she was nearly kidnapped at the Uptown YMCA, at the Dowd YMCA, got the word out through the Dilworth community, said, let's start this march. Let's go talk to the city council members and say, you know what, we've had enough. We want to work with the city council. We want to work with the city of Charlotte and police to see what we can do. We talked with one woman whose family was actually robbed while they slept in their Dilworth home. She says she is marching tonight to help get something done. Here's what she had to say. We are really willing to do anything we can to help. And we are not just saying that. We're willing to pay extra in taxes if we need to. We're willing to pay extra for security forces if we need to. Uh, we're willing to be vigilant ourselves. Now, several of the people that were here and that are marching are actually going to talk tonight at the city council. And they say they're not done. Once they speak to the city council, they say they are willing to take their fight to Raleigh. Reporting live now from our WCNC mobile newsroom in Dilworth, I'm Michelle Bowden. Oh.